नमस्कार स्वागत आहे तुमचं डिजिटल प्रभातमध्ये एकोणीसशे एक्काहत्तरमध्ये झालेल्या भारत पाकिस्तान युद्धाला पन्नास वर्ष पूर्ण होत आहेत भारताच्या या ऐतिहासिक विजयाच्या स्मरणार्थ स्वर्णिम विजय वर्ष यावर्षी साजरं होत आहे या युद्धामध्ये भारतीय वायुदलाची कामगिरी देखील महत्वाची होती the high tension wires was a bug because you can hit into it you can't see anything and mind you at that time by that time the full moon had gone away the full moon was on 2nd of uh, 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 december and it was in the waning mood waning manje kalto rising moon asto it rises early waning moon asto it starts reducing and this sortie which i did was uh, bombing at 4 o'clock in the morning because that is a vulnerable time when people are relaxed the dole jhaplele astar and can individual is an individual so they have to get difficult sir any point of at any point of time did you feel like ki ab to main gaya aisa kuch no what happens you no know, you think nothing but your professional uh, uh, doing you know you don't have time to think about your wife your family your children because you have to do uh, take corrective action within seconds believe you me in flying particularly in the fighter aircraft it has to be done very well your decisions have to be very fast i was coming back to the indian territory when my tail radar gave me a audio warning that the enemy aircraft were behind chasing me by that time the air defense had picked me up also i got information from our own radar relay information that f104 star fighters those days were m104 which the bangladesh uh, the pakistan air force had got from sudan loaned from sudan but flown the pakistan so immediately i turned towards the himalayas and i turned dive low to the ground about 100 feet and went into the himalayas so that the enemy aircraft cannot track me down on their radar and hence they cannot fire the missiles what happens is on the enemy aircraft due to ground clutter when the aircraft chasing aircraft radar waves hit the ground they deflect back and when it deflects back recollection of my yesterday years yesterday years when we were our hair was black when we performed all these acts which were glorified they form in the they have to be uh, uh, glorified individually but also i must give credence and shabash to my airmen 
the technical airmen and the non-technical airmen. They were behind the scenes giving us support in a big way. Of course, we come at the air crew particularly and the pilots in particular always come in the limelight. But, uh, and there are lots of uh, sorties which we have done which needs to be highlighted. But it doesn't matter as long as we are uh, the uh, sorties we perform and grave personal risks. As I told you in my narration, I got hit also by the enemy bullets, the light machine guns and the medium machine guns. My instruments were not working. Yeah, this is one such sortie. Another interesting sortie I had when I had to destroy the Murid airfield in Pakistan. What I did was I took off from Gorakhpur, went to Ambala, refueled there, and then went into Pakistan, about 165 kilometers inside Pakistan. And what I did was I carried eight 1,000 bombs, powder bombs, but I had given instructions that I don't want any instantaneous explosion. I want them to be I want them to be delayed fuses. Delayed from right from three minutes to about 24 hours. So that when I actually do the bombing, initially they don't know, don't know what is happening. And the bombs will explode at various timings so that they get alarmed and not knowing what 